Hello and welcome to the 29th video that I'll be posting in my Unity platformer tutorial series. And in today's video, we will be discussing all about our build settings. And the build settings here, if we go to our file, we're going to save first and we're going to click on our file again and click on our build settings here. As you can see, we have a lot of platforms that we can build our game on. And if you download Unity, usually you already download the PC, Mac, and Linux standalone version. And these are other additional and like PS4, for example, iOS, Android. And what you're going to do if you actually want to export into one of these other platform if you go to any of the platforms and then click install with unity hub and then it's going to start installing and you can directly use that or export your game into that platform but currently we are going to stick with our pc mac and linux standalone and i am going to close this for a while because we need to go to our edit go to our project settings here and in our project settings we can go to the quality here and as you can see there is the pc linux and standalone platform here where it's going to use our ultra quality meanwhile the web gl platform is using our high and this won't change anything and just make sure that you have selected your quality here and we won't be changing much i'm just explaining to you what these quality are used for and how to preset them and then we are actually going to our player here in our project settings and we are going to name the company name will be dev code because i'm dev code and then the product name will be something like sunnyland adventure like that and version just leave that to be and as you can see it's going to ask us for a default icon and default cursor you can actually select your images here but i don't have the cursor so i'm just gonna let that be and for the icon here we are going to make that icon right now and the way we can do that is if we open our adobe photoshop or any image editing software you have or you can just directly take in an image that you want for example we will take in this image for example you can do that but then i will be creating my own image by using our sprites here and I'm just going to do that right now. So I'm going to open my Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so once the Adobe Photoshop has opened, I'm going to go to my files, click on open. It's going to ask us for the file location. And I'm just going to close this project settings right now. And I'm going to open that later again. And I'm just going to show in Explorer this image right here because I want to use this image. And I'm just going to drag the image here. Open this again. Zoom in. And I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to open one more thing here. And that's going to be my Sunnyland artwork environment background here. I want to take the background for the image. And we are going to drag in the image into our Adobe Photoshop. And this might take a while, so I'm going to speed things up. Okay. Close that, open this again. And we are actually going to create our icon for the game. And the way we can do that is by dragging this whole picture here. 27. Because I'm going to say 27 pixels and 27 pixels. 27, 27, click create. I'm just going to zoom it in, go to my player, drag it to my untitled 2. And I'm going to get my background here. I'm going to be dragging all of this too. And now I'm going to be creating my game icon. And this might take a while, so I'm going to speed things up. I guess for the meantime, this is good enough, I guess. 
but this is all up to you and you as the game developer can create anything that you want and be creative with your designs but i'll just be satisfied with this for the meantime file save and i'm going to save this on my computer and i'm going to name this file game icon series and then I'm going to export this to a PNG. Where's my PNG here? Uh, PNG. I'm going to save. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to saving this. Okay, now I'm going to close my Adobe Photoshop. And I'm going to go to my assets and show an explorer. I'm going to search for for my assets here and I'm going to save this and I'm going to search for that image just now open file location copy this and paste this here in my asset here okay and then as you can see the image renders and if we go to our edit here go to our project settings you go to our player here and i'm going to select the new image which is going to be this image and as you can see unity is going to make a view version of our icon and just let it be and here you don't need to change anything except if you want the game to go full screen mode and i guess i just want it to be windowed we want it to run in background we want it to be a resizable window and yeah and in the splash image here we can change into something like light on dark or dark on light and we can preview this we can preview this we can see that unity startup and i guess i want dark on light so that it's gonna be much more better because my background is pretty dark yeah and we don't need to change anything other than that i guess you can change something here but then this is more to other games that require much more editing in quality but you don't need to change anything because we are just making a 2d platformer and we won't benefit much from editing these features and we're just actually gonna go to our player here and just click close and then if we go to our file here go to our build settings and you can see that we have our target platform which is going to be windows and in our architecture we have times 86 or times 86 64 and this is basically this is trying to say whether or not our game will run in 32 bit or 64 bit and since we are just making a simple game and it's not really that heavy we can just go and stick with 32 bit Server build is for our online and we want to make sure that we do not check development build. And if you're creating a multiplayer game, you should always click on the server build. But then since this is a single player game, so we don't need to do that. We don't want to copy BDB files. And I guess we can just build. It's going to ask us where we want to save it. And I'm just going to say Sunnyland Adventure here. Click on that and select folder and then we're going to click on build. Okay, as you can see, the game has successfully built. And as you can see here, we already have our icon here. And if we double click on it. It's going to open in this small window here and we can just scale it up and there you go click on our start here click on level one and we can play on our game And that is it.
for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand more about Unity platformer making. And that is it for our tutorial series. So if you guys want to understand more about Unity platformer or have questions about platformer making, you can put it down in the comments of the video and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. And if it's really a big topic, I can actually make a video on it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this series and in tomorrow's video, I'll be actually creating sprites and teaching you guys how to create your own sprites for your own individual game. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video.